move here to Seaside Park in New Jersey. This is the place that we've been going to since I was a little girl. And even before that, my family's been going there. It looks a lot different now. And I'm parking in the same exact spot my dad would always park his van in because it had the lines here where no one could park next to you. I can't tell me how many years we would come here every Monday and Tuesday all summer long. We are on the 10th anniversary from Superstorm Standy that hit this beach. And of course they've added dunes to try and break from the water coming in. And this hall, this fencing is new too, including a lot of the boardwalk is new. It used to be you could stand here and you could see all the way out to the water, but can't. And now it's got this crunchy little mat too. I guess that's to hold the sand or to help you get it off your feet. I left my Wii Zap on, and I could hear it in the background. We didn't want to hear that. So they have a lot of the dunes here, the grasses. Ah, oh, looks like the tide is out a little bit. This is, it's just gorgeous. It is my absolute favorite beach of all the places. This is nice where you can take a break and sit. Look at that, that's just amazing. With the sun. The beaches are free after Labor Day, usually. And they had this nice little trek going down to wind you down. So we're just gonna walk in here. So, sorry if it's a little bumpy here. So we're gonna walk on the beach for a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Now the boats are out there in the water. Looks like they're still doing some work on it over there. Oh man, when Superstorm Sandy came through here, oh, I was in Fort Worth and I saw my beloved jet star just dumped into the ocean and it ripped my heart out. That was the very same roller coaster that I would wait. I had to wait till I was 12 before I could ride it with my dad. They had a either an age or a height. I don't know. I had to wait till I was 12. And when I finally was able to ride it with my dad, that was like, oh, it was like the best for me. It was. And then every time we came here, my dad and I would always ride the Jetstar together. Always. It was our special ride. It's always been really soft, sandy beach. Looks a little wet. I don't know whether the tide was up here or... It just rained, I think. They're not letting anybody go swimming because there's no lifeguards. I've been out here in this water with sharks. <laughs> Didn't know they were there and the lifeguards, I remember, were whistling, trying to get me to come in and I was mad. And my sister was standing on the shore here, fussing and fussing. She was all upset. So there's sharks out there. I said, oh, is that all? <laughs> She goes, what do you mean that's all? She goes, what if one, one of them bit you? And I go, well, and I would take my last swim. You know, I'd be doing something I loved. Oh my gosh. So Superstorm Sandy, 10 years ago, the seaside boardwalk had two piers. One was the kiddies, it was closer, and then the other one was for the adults. You can see the adult one there in the background. I'll zoom in here a little bit. You can see it back there and the, it's a little bit foggy here. And that's, the, they kept the adult one, I guess is still there, but the other one was closer to us for the kiddie rides and that's all gone. 
And then if that wasn't enough for them to have endured Superstorm Sandy, they had a fire of all things on the kitty pier. And it, oh, I'm sure everybody knows what the Jet Star was though. Everybody saw it. It was an iconic picture of the roller coaster in the ocean. That was the Jet Star. If you saw those pictures, that's what that was. And it was amazing. Always a ton of seagulls here. I can't tell you how many times I've sat on this very beach in pretty much this exact spot. Digging for hermit crabs not, and those little sand crabs. It was pretty amazing. I'm gonna go down and feel how cold the water is. Oh my gosh. How many times as a little girl, I would, the waves would come in and I'd turn around and I'd run away from them. We've got eight millimeter film of me doing it. If I can get it transferred here and stick it up on YouTube, I will. There we come. Oh my God, as soon as I open up the car door, I could smell that fresh ocean air. Absolutely love it. I could watch this for hours. Of course, you'd be burnt by then if you watched it for hours. We always came to the beach. It opened up at about 9. And we would get off by 11. So we'd be getting off the beach by then. Looks like the tide is, I don't know if it's coming in or it's going out. It's always hard to tell. But oh my God, we would be out there. They have a nice sandbar out there. We could walk when the tide is completely out. You could walk in ankle deep water. It was so amazing. This was my favorite childhood place. Let these waves come in so I can feel how cold they are. It's going to be pretty cold in November. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, that's good. Doesn't feel too bad. Ugh. It's a little cold. It's not too bad. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. You always felt good after you were here. Always. It's just my favorite place. Every Monday and Tuesday all summer long, my dad would take us. He was a dispatcher for White Marsh Township Police in Pennsylvania for over 30 years. And we would sleep in the van sometimes overnight in the, in the police station parking lot. And when he got off work, he worked 11 to seven and he would jump in the van and he would drive us down here. And it wasn't far. We did that, except the two weeks, like I said, the two weeks we would go to upstate New York and we go camping up there, Screw River. I'll go visit that again too and we'll take some video. And I remember when the kids' kitty pier was here, we would walk the beach all the way down and we'd go under the pier and come out the other side. It wouldn't last too long and we would return back. Oh, look, a lone seashell. Oh, nice. It's a pretty, pretty clam shell. Not many shells on the beach today. Sometimes this place has been like. Nothing but jellyfish. Here's another one. Mm. Oh, there's some more seashells up here. We've seen lots of seaweed sometimes. Sometimes they had a bunch of horseshoe crabs. You just never know what you're gonna find up here. All kinds of shells. I'm gonna stick these two that I found in my in my purse. Oh man. That ocean air is like the best you want to breathe. It is so amazing. 
Absolutely love it. Love you, Seaside. <sighs> Amazing. Here's where we would get our beach passes for the day. It started out being, I think, a dollar twenty-five or something like that to get on. It's seventy-five cents. Then it went up to four per person. So much has changed over the years. The boardwalk is not even wood. It feels like it's, I don't know, cement or composite or something. You always have these water fountains by the water where you can rinse your feet off. I would have put my feet in, but mm, I'm going to get them all full of sand. Oh. They're saying give seals a space. Did seals come down here? I've never seen seals here. Not once. Oh, well, maybe they have. That's different. Share the shore. Seals rest on our beaches. Stay back and give them space. Well, that's nice. I never knew they came over here. Oh yeah, they've got rip currents. It was a little rough out there. I noticed. 